Hello everybody and welcome to Shovel Knight. This is the first time I've been playing this game. I'm going to be playing this game on this channel. I have played and I have beat it twice before. But it doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to have fun. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Um, Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start here. We're just going to play Shovel Knight for right now. Maybe as time goes by we might be able to play the uh, Plague Knight. We'll go from there. So we're going to go ahead and do Irrigant. Uh-huh. Oh, I say, how do I spell this again? <laughs> Arrogant. Yeah, I can't do it anymore. Well, that sucks. Arrogant. Perfect. So this will be our save. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you've never played this game before, think back to any Nintendo game in the past. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. And just think, if someone made it now, this is Shovel Knight, basically. Of all heroes, none shone, shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. Yeah, this game was actually new and it was converted to be old. Pretty cool. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. <laughs> when Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. Oh, that's sad. Is she dead? His spirit broke and a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. Now, even as a farmer, he still rocks his armor. <laughs> but without champions, the land was seized by vile power, the Enchantress, and her order of no quarter. That's pretty cool, actually. They actually look really cool for bad guys, which were actually used to be good guys. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. So I think we should have a lot of fun here. I'm gonna try to make it as interesting as possible. Let's get shoveling. <laughs> oh, it's great. This game looks amazing. I mean, it really, it really do make me think back to the days when I was a, uh, uh, what it was like when I was a kid, and like my brothers, my brother and my sisters, and my brothers. One, I only had one brother. My brother and my sister uh, had their old Nintendo and Sega. And I used to play it all the time. Like I pretty much grew up with that because my parents didn't uh, <laughs> want to buy me the new stuff, PlayStation One, you know, around that time, or the Dreamcast or things like that, um, because they were expensive, and my, my parents weren't really feeling it. So I ended up just playing a lot of really old school Nintendo and Sega games for like a long time in my life. But I had the most amount of fun I ever had in my life. And despite how difficult they are, because these games are really annoying, extremely difficult, um, you can appreciate what games were back then. You know, they were a set adventure made with, you know, limited te uh, technology, technology or limited practices or limited art styles. Back then, nobody knew how to make a game. And, you know, there weren't books like nowadays it's about colors, well, colors in games or game design. You know, you just had to kind of get in there and just be like, well, what's fun? And what is my game about? And I remember, like, uh, what was it? Ego Raptor made a good video about that when he was talking about, uh, I think it was Sequ yeah, Sequelitis, one of his, uh, whoop, his, uh, series. And yeah, it, it's true. There weren't, no, there were no books on video game making. And it's like, well, how can I get somebody to play my game? And so when it comes down to it, you made sure it was colorful, it was interesting, and you made sure that the game lasted. So you made it extra hard, extra frustrating. But you knew that when the, when the when the kids were done with the game, which probably took forever or never, they never got done with it. You knew that they weren't whining to their parents or upset like, oh, the game's over. I want you to buy me another fifty or sixty dollar or a hundred and twenty something dollar video game, uh, which was a lot back then which is a lot now actually still I feel like a hundred something dollars is ridiculous for a video game 72 80 90 100 collector's edition is a waste of money I think but uh, <clears throat> you know this is another subject in itself but anyway so it, it gave me an appreciation for what they had to do with the marketing that had to get accomplished as well as making a cohesive useful game that taught you things by using a wonderful manual oh I think back like I'm an old man or something like, think back in the days when they had manuals for the video game, yeah. 
You remember that when you get to read about the main character? He wasn't just shovel guy. He actually had a backstory. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, using this game as an example. Like I learned a lot. This re uh, actually I learned a lot, and I had a lot of fun just sitting around reading video game manuals. And I'm sure I'm not the only person who has ever sat around and read video game manuals. I mean, I would crack open my PlayStation 2 ones and be like, "Man, this is great! Look at this." I mean, I looked at a Manhunt uh, manual uh, that I was like excited about because a, lo a lot of stuff in Manhunt, the first Manhunt game, actually were cut out, like a lot of it. So I mean, even the what is it, the opening? When you turn the game on, you turn Manhunt on, you will see a black guy on there. Uh, you know who this is look like, a, like you know, black thug guy, you know, Fifty Cent's third cousin or something. And he's not in the game. There's there's no like black people. I mean no no I should say no specifically you know a ghetto hood black person. No thug like you know black thugs in the game. There may be some darker skin you know clone or copy like people, but like real actual black people. There's only like one, which is like the commander, which you got his name from the manual because he doesn't say it in the game. And, uh, oh cool, we picked up that music note. We should, able, we should be able to turn it back in town and they'll give us some money for it, which is really cool. But anyway, yeah, the, on the front cover of the game, I mean, on the front ma main menu is a black dude and there's no, like, significant black characters in the game, nor black games, no crips or bloods or anything like that. And that was completely cut from the game. So it's kind of like, well, shoot, I would have never known that unless I looked at, you know, freaking, I don't know, game facts or something or... Uh, you know, a wiki page like now nowadays, but you know, wiki was around, but wasn't that popular. And I should say it was popular, but not really for gaming. It was just like wiki was just like, hey, you want to know about Christopher Columbus? You know, read this, and it still is like that. But yeah, I was just saying that the significance of the video game man, it was really important to know this extra information about the game because it, it changed the game for me. It, it was less about like, oh yeah, I'm just a uh, bald, um, you know, Caucasian male, 30 year old criminal, and now I'm like James Earl Cash, where they said in the game about like twice, I think, maybe three times told us to said his name. He doesn't say much until like chapter like five or six, and it's kind of cool to look back in history why he did it. Carson City is actually part of Grand Theft Auto's place, which I thought was pretty hype. And I'm like, well, that's that's awesome. That's in the same universe as the old Grand Theft Auto 2 games. But I bet you didn't know that because you probably didn't read the manual. And nowadays, the manual is either online or non-existent. It is a flabby flyer, for lack of a better term. What the? I'm doing terrible. Flyer, for lack of a better term. And I'm all about game manuals. I'm all about the old school gameplay mechanics. Give me some old... Wonderful gameplay. You don't know, how, like I, I can't, I can't explain to you how much fun me and my sister had this playing. Uh, what was it, Mario, Super Mario Brothers three again? And you know we're we're in our like twenties, and we sat there and we played Super Mario Brothers three like a couple years ago, and we couldn't be happier. I'm like, I'm completely serious. We were like excited about you know I, we were excited about the whole thing we was like yeah we can beat this no problem this game's easy um and i i really think that's that's the important part of it. oh sorry about that I kind of froze up <laughs> that's the important part of it um yeah that's the the yeah the biggest and most important part about video games to me is when you get this you know camaraderie or this fact that you get to hang around and you know chill with everybody and just play, play a fun game that everybody can get into. No matter how difficult it is, you'll pass a controller to somebody in the old days and it's only like, what, about five or six buttons on the thing or less. And they were excited. They was like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna do good, but this is fun. And you get to play, you know, everybody got to play and it was really awesome. But like nowadays, it's kind of like, well, if you don't know how to play and you don't play games, that's it, I'm sorry. Black Knight, I knew you show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. Shouldn't it be Black and Red Knight? Anyway, I'm, I, I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. 
Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. Now you can see the cool tower in the background. But her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thine shovel. Oh, here we go. We got a boss battle. What you got? What you got, huh? What you laughing for? <laughs> what you got? You ain't got nothing? I think you might be able to deflect that, but I'm not gonna try it. Yeah, stop doing that. Cut that out. Come back over here. Ah, oh, you cheater. He came out of nowhere with that. Gotcha. Ooh. Slow motion, all colors. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We conquered the first level. That's pretty easy. <laughs> he just took off. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That's great. I love this part of the game when he's just chilling. Look at him. Oh man, the music in this game is awesome. Hey, just listen to it. Oh shoot, shovel nice falling. Oh wow. I love that if they added that in the game. Catcher. See, look, that, that tells you the story already, how, how close they were. That That's his dreams. Thinking about her. That's really sad, actually. Well, shoot. That happens when you go adventuring together. Sometimes people die, unfortunately. Alright, let's go to the village. There's always a village in video games. It has to be in these old... Old school RPGs. Barrels. Hawks. No weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, <laughs> that's no weapon. Just a shovel. You may enter then. And don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. <laughs> Cause no trouble, warrior. I'm sorry, but you're a bit too short for me. But you're like a llama lady or something. I don't know. What's up? Make sure to press up to talk to people like you just did now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bard. Hell, Traveler. I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lies scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you handsomely. Woo! You have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take a 500 gold for each. Oh, I'll take that. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found Strike the Earth. Oh, on Stenato, Trumpet tripl uh, Triplets. Is there anything you can't render into pure music? Now that I have this, sheet, uh, this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. Yeah, sure. Hail Shovel Knight, hero of music. What can I, a humble bar, do for you today? Play me a song. Splendid, what would you like to hear? Wow. Okay, we got a lot more music than I thought. Let's play the first one. So that's the main thing. Steal thine shovel. <laughs> shovel Knight sounds so formal. You should choose a nickname. As your adventure begins, we are regaled with tales of bravery and despair. One faithful night. A decisive blow into the arena and feel like a champion. The audience is watching from all sight. And the last one, no weapons here. Every town should have its own anthem. Tough times call for spirited music. <laughs> Let's go talk to this lady. Ooh, you got a pretty face. You should come visit often. Beware of the lynch calling himself the super skeleton. His jumping attacks are ferocious. Oh, this kind of reminds me of Simon Quest. Back in Nintendo days. Porridge and poultry, meat, a mudden and meat. Your maximum health will increase if you eat. Bring a meal ticket, I'll whip it up a feast. Gotician might have some, now where is that sly beast? Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, decision, decision. Should I stand my magic or health? 
or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? How much are the meal tickets? No. Ah, very well. I shall continue to weigh my options. A tactician such as myself should consider all avenues. Wow, we got a lot of money, actually. I shouldn't be so stingy. Wait, more... Oh, want more use out of your relics? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I can increase your magic... Uh, your maximum magic. Oh, but no relics yet. What? I can't... You have to find some relics. Chester down the ladder, he always has the weirdest things. Wait, what was I doing? Hmm. Okay, so I think we can buy a meal ticket and bring it to that guy to increase our health. So let's do that. A thousand. Alright, fine. Can we buy another one from him? Might as well since we big balling. Whoa! I didn't expect that. We're gonna say no right now. Oh, he's excited. Look how happy he is. A meal ticket handed to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit and partner the mess. Oh, look at him cooking. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, cool. What we get? What is this? What on earth is that? Are we eating a bouquet of flowers? Is that a, a was it a toxic? What is that? Is that yeah? Is that a toxic bag of M and M's? I don't understand. Hey, well, it gave me more life, so can't beat that. Let's head downstairs, like she said, and go talk to Chester. Juice made. Ah, a new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Everyone welcome in here. Um, let's talk to the next girl and see what she say. Uh. Ooh, that Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Oh, what was me? The king of nothing. Not to be ruled by but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Pride Moore's throne. That gilded goon, he gets his he'll get his soon. And look old witch. <laughs> Grandma Swamp. Double trouble, soil and shovel. My third eye knows your useless involves. Excovotio, the number of piled <laughs> piles I mean dig piles you dug is seven. Omru and Fossil something. The amount of gold you collected is 6,195. So she just know all the statistics. I fell in battle zero times. The total time in playing is 16 minutes and 33 seconds. The magic I magically see all of your acts. Come again and see some more useful facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch. <laughs> oh, cool, that broke. Okay, well, that's awesome. Let's check that out. Let's see what she's doing back here. Who are you? Mona. Sigh. I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as you're stranded here, shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just, I'll need a hundred gold first. Uh, okay. All right, I'll conjure up some things and you can hit them towards the targets for points, okay? Okay. So. Okay, well, I'm doing terrible so far. Okay, this is better. Ah, shoot. Well, that's pretty good. I want to hit those. Oh, yeah. Oh, they give you 10 points for the orange one. Oh, cool. Got one. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Ooh. <laughs> I almost missed them. <laughs> Ooh. It's so pretty. Look at everything so colorful. I'm driving them. <laughs> we can't get everything. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I got 242. You got 242 points. Yawn. Well, color me impressed. Oh, cool. I got an accomplishment. And she gave me a music note. Oh, cool. That was awesome. All right, let's go check on this side. See what's going on over here. I was a toad. Croaker. Hey, Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the, the trowel. Okay. <laughs> a trooper acolyte. Hello, fish friend. All hail the trooper, the trumpet, 
Trumpolo, whatever. Who? You never heard of that thing, King? Have trout? Oh, trapple. I was like, what the? Have trout and half apple. Oh, trapple. Gotcha. That's stupid. <laughs> Pronounced like mouthful. Truffle. Mouth trough. <laughs> He's one of the forest gods. Here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth. If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chalice aloft and the truffle night. Trop, trop apple. Tr trout apple. <laughs> King will appear. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell truffles chalices to believers. Would you like one? Uh, sure. Why not? Well, I got one. So press up and square a vessel for storing mystical anchor. I don't know. But where to find it? That's interesting. This must be Chester then. Chester. Yep. Psst. Hey, blue guy, you wouldn't believe the merchandise I got for you today. Why not to have a look? <laughs> he sounds suspicious. Stranger, stranger. Let's see what we have today, stranger. I got a fishing pole and a weird orb. An orb of boundless combat potential. I want that. Press up and square, orb bounce it. Good. T give it a good throw. Okay, cool. Can I buy the fishing rod? I might need that. Yeah, give me a fishing rod. Oh, look, he did a little bow. I didn't even notice that. What else you got, Chester? Hey, you bought all my relics I had on hand, but don't worry. I'm already planning my next trip. Okay. Oh, so that's how we do the thing. Well, cool. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, this is uh, Shovel Knight, if you don't remember the name. Uh, please stay tuned to Two Way Street. There's going to be plenty more things popping up on the channel ever since Metro... 2033 ended so i'm excited about the things coming soon so please stay tuned check out the facebook you can donate if you like it's in the description and thank you so much for watching bye bye